Hey guys, Bharadwaj with Phone Arena here. A lot of people have been asking us in our review about the gaming performance on the Micromax Canvas HD. So we have the A116 Canvas HD here and we are going to show you a couple of games that we had installed on the device. Uh, a couple of casual games and a couple of uh, hardcore uh, games that you usually play on the phone. So we are going to test out the performance. So this is the gaming performance review of the Micromax A116 Canvas HD. So I am going to show you a couple of uh, platformer games right now. So these are endless running games like the Temple Run and the Subway Surfers. So first let's take a look at the Subway Surfers first. So right now the camera is recording at 24 fps so you actually cannot see uh, the fluidity of the game here it, anything it records it only records in 24 fps but right now uh, if you can see the game that actually plays is very fluid very very fluid and uh, it's as expected as uh, from a high-end smartphone so it's really fluid So that's a quick demo of uh, subway servers there. As you can see, no apps are running. So that's a simple confirmation. And uh, one of the most uh, uh, popular games that have uh, recently released is Temple Run. So let's try Temple Run. This is also uh, an endless runner game. And this is the sequel of the most popular Temple Run game. You will be chased by monkeys and very similar to the subway surface, you have to jump and uh, slide and get all the coins and whatnot. So it's very similar. And in that case, so as you can see here, the performance of the um, the uh, Temple Run game is a bit jittery, it's not uh, too bad, uh, it's really uh, nice but a little bit jitter here and there. So that's a quick look at the performance of the Temple Run game on the Canvas HD. So these are really uh, simple games most people play and that's uh, what, what we saw first. Uh, there are also other uh, 3D intensive uh, runner games like Agent Dash for example. This is also an endless runner game but uh, it has uh, really nice graphics. So let's see what happens. So all these games load pretty fast like uh, most other phones. So that's a really good thing. So this is the first trial of the agent dash game as you can see there it has great graphics and it plays really fluid so you have no troubles playing uh, games with intensive graphics and we are going to show even more after this. So that was uh, Agent Dash which is also another simple game that's on Android. So there is also these games like Jetpack Joyride which play really nice. So as far as normal games are concerned we don't have any problem with the graphics rendering or the graphics performance. So let's take a look at a huge game that requires a lot of uh, graphics uh, power to power it that is GTA 3. It's actually a straight desktop port that was released ages back on the PC. So we are going to take a look at that. Just to recap this uh, is based on a MediaTek quad core CPU. Uh, so the GPU performance is pretty good on this. This is the graphics of GTA 3 and the performance is actually really great no stutter nothing it's not really easy to play 
the camera in my face. So, so as you can see here, it's pretty nice. All the details, even the draw distance is pretty good. And I failed the first mission. This is what happens when you play with the camera in my in your face. So that was a quick demo of GTA 3. So that's it for the gaming performance review on the Micromax Canvas A116 HD. Remember that uh, this is running a very powerful PowerVR SGX 544MP2 which is a dual core graphics processor with the MediaTek MT6589 chip. So if you're looking at playing a lot of games on the phone then don't worry about it. All the games play really nicely on the uh, Canvas HD. So that's it for the uh, quick overview of gaming. Uh, so do like this video if you like it and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and let us know in the comment section if you have any more questions about gaming on the Micromax Canvas HD. Thanks for watching.